Yeah, I think it's fascinating some of the announcements that have been made from the from the Chinese companies. They've not come out and said, "Here's an all-encompassing, all-doing AI product like ChatGPT has sort of built itself as." They've been very specific about how they're planning to roll this out. So, if we look at Alibaba today, they're saying we're going to integrate this into our enterprise communications tool called DingTalk. This is effectively a messaging services businesses use, uh, and you know it can help you draft documents and maybe business plans、uh, and that sort of thing. It, again, if you look at some of the other announcements, they're very specific uh, to uh, tasks that aren't very controversial.、Uh, and we've seen from some of the testing so far, particularly on Baidu's chatbot, Ernie Bot, when there have been questions asked about Xi Jinping or some of the other、uh, difficult topics, they don't really know how to answer. They effectively say we. We don't have an answer for this. We're figuring out how to answer, and that clearly speaks to, I think, the way that these chatbots are going to develop in China. The Cyberspace Administration of China came out with some draft rules today, and they basically laid out the ground rules for these companies and said, "Look, content、uh, should、uh, reflect." The core socialist values. They must not con contain a subversion to state power,、uh, and also they shouldn't contain any kind of false information. So we know, like much of the Chinese internet landscape, these chatbots also will be constrained in the sort of information they're going to be able to provide.、Uh, 